pump your brakes. Bro, that's my time by myself. Like, come on. Like, at least I'm not fucking these skinny guys. Welcome back to the Chatterbox Toronto. I got my friend Mark with me again. You guys requested in the comments to see him, so I brought yeah, his yeah. I brought his cute ass back. Thanks again for having <laughs> me. Thanks again. All right, guys. So as you know, we always get right into these two questions. We're gonna go right into it. I'm gonna start with the first one, and it is: My boyfriend is always watching porn. The girls he watches are so much thinner than I am. It makes me feel horrible and unattractive. Should I ask him to stop watching it? Hell no. You see my little eye roll after right. I read the damn question. Hell no, what? Like, that, come you're, on. So, you're being so insecure. That's, Pump your brakes. That's my time by myself. Like, come on. Like, at least I'm not fucking these skinny girls. Exactly, and everybody has fantasies. Right. Like, sure. some of the things I fantasize, damn show ain't the things that I really want in life, but it makes me feel good in that moment. You I watch know? I watch girl on girl. Doesn't mean I want to be the other girl. Exactly. Exactly. Well, you do want to be the other girl. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't mean like I want to be a girl. I'm not gonna like Caitlyn Jenner myself. Yeah, you don't want to be a girl. Like, I'm not gonna Caitlyn Jenner exactly. myself soon. Exactly. So, I don't think you should ask him to stop watching porn um, or stop watching this specific type of porn because it makes you uncomfortable. I think that you need to work on your self-esteem. Because obviously if he's dating you, he's attracted to you too. And he's smashing you. He's not smashing the people on the screen. It's just getting them excited. And sometimes masturbation is healthy. You need to do your thing on your own sometimes, you know? Yeah, you see, because like, what it is, because I've watched these, so I'm not gonna lie. Little petite little girl. Right. And she's tidy, <laughs> right? And you just want to throw those things around. like. <laughs> I mean, you just want to throw them around. That's it. That's it. Like, you want to spin it's it around true. like a helicopter. Like, you have had these things. I've seen it, okay? I know exactly where this question is coming from. I know the direction it's going. And so, because basically, this girl that's writing this question is a little thicker, maybe yeah. a little heavier side. Yeah, exactly. It's Nothing right. wrong with that. Don't feel insecure about it. Insecure with Encour who you Encourage are. it. Watch it with him. Exactly. You can watch it with him yeah. and reenact those scenes. He's exactly. Gonna love you forever. He's gonna love and if you forever. can't reenact those scenes, because we know some of them are a little extra. You're like, not gonna do the heavy helicopters. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing all. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, just enjoy it with him, and you know, yeah. while he's watching it, you could be doing. You just know, treat up. Suck you know, his like, dick. <laughs> like have fun with it instead yeah. of making it be something a negative thing to push you apart. Like yeah. bring it together. Like you know, and that maybe will make you more comfortable with it as well. Yeah. But I find women are like. They, typically they are insecure about these kind of things because yeah. you know what I get the women's point of view because I feel like they their purpose isn't really being fulfilled if they, if a guy needs to go watch porn right no man you don't feel that way? I don't feel that way no? at all so you, you are okay with your yes yes i don't i don't see an issue with it at all i mean okay if, it, if if it's been like a month or two and me and you are not smashing and i see that that's what you're doing yeah then there's a concern but if i'm getting what i need and you still need a little extra on the side and you know you don't want me to, you don't want to do all the floor play and stuff and you want to do your own thing and you want to just get it done quick and that helps mm -hmm. why okay, would wait, i so do that tell me this so no like, okay Say it, I'm S here. Situation, situation. Yeah, yeah. We're smashing. Okay. And then right after that, I go and I pull up the, the laptop and I start watching porn right after we finish. Okay, that. that's different. That is totally different because is it is it that now? So now the time frame. That's is, different. Now the time frame is an issue. Yeah, because no, no, not that it's an issue. I think if it happened one time or a couple times, yeah, that's different. But I feel like if that's like consistently what you're doing, are you actually like having an arc? Like, are you coming? Like, <laughs> why is it that every single time are you not satisfied? Then I'll just ask the question. I think it's a communication thing. I won't be angry and say yeah. well, you shouldn't do that, but I'll be like, babe, why? Like, you want to just go again? Like, what is it? And, and you can be honest with me and say, no, I'm just tired. I want to just get off. What, of if, my what if this is just my thing? Like, I, I have to like it. It's a new trend. Or it's a new thing for me that I, I just have to watch. As long as right I'm now. being satisfied, I don't care. You're not screwing any of the girls. You're screwing yourself. I don't care. <laughs> so exactly. screw yourself and screw me. As long as I'm satisfied, you can't be screwing yourself more than you screw me. That's all. I, that's all. Yeah. Like as long as I'm satisfied, then you're good. Like do your thing, chicken wing. I get that. I get yeah. That. So don't you don't you shouldn't ask him to stop watching it. You, you I think that you should try another way of like you know making yourself get a little more comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. And if 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 not if you're not gonna get comfortable with it, just close the door when you see him doing it and leave him alone. Come back in a few it's minutes. It's private time. It's private. A few time. minutes or more, and yeah, it's private time. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Yeah. 
Yeah. I agree. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. I think you have the next question. I let's do. see. I do. It's, it's, uh, it's one that I've actually participated in. Ew. Is sex in public okay? Sex in public. Yeah, sex in public. I participated too. Yeah, I, mean, I love it for real. Yeah, yeah, it's an adrenaline rush. Okay. Let me give you my scenario. So it was at the Bluffs, Scarborough Bluffs. Okay. okay. <laughs> It was broad daylight, broad <laughs> fucking daylight. All right, there's sailboats just floating around, people walking. You know, like I'm not sure if you can picture the bluffs in your in your head. Yeah. Like, can, I so you know when you walk bluffs. towards like that little lighthouse thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you walk <laughs> towards that little lighthouse. There's like a little side area with a picnic bench. The girl I was with was wearing a skirt at the time, so easy feel like access. I'm gonna, yeah, feeling a little promiscuous, and okay. uh, she's like, hey. She actually recommended it too. She's like, hey, you wanna do the deal with the thing? I'm like, fuck yeah, of course I'm gonna turn that shit down. So yeah, she just hiked the little underwear to the side, sat on me, rode me while the fucking Simple. The, the sailboats were going around, and honestly, it was such a thrill. I, honestly, I, I didn't last like two minutes. Because it, that, it's I, because I, because of because the excitement. There's people, there's people walking around. Yeah, and like, you know, I gotta get this over and done with yeah, quick, yeah. quick. <laughs> That's probably the fastest I I've think that I think that that type of sex in, in public is fun and exciting, thrilling, all that. Yeah. But then the type of sex in public where you just don't care if nobody sees you, I think that that's a little. You're getting too that's far sloppy. into it. You're like, too far into it. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's sloppy and it's it's corny to me. Like I just, but like you know, like how people will be like, oh, they'll go into an empty the movie theater or there's not that many people and maybe they're at the back and stuff like that. I'm down for that. Like yeah, yeah, you know, I don't I don't see anything wrong with exactly. all that. Being like, a little finger going on, you know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not putting on a show for anybody. Exactly. It's definitely for. But there are some theater. people that are out here. Bumping and grinding loudly, looking at you yeah. while they're on their man. Like, yeah, girl, you watching the movie? Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever got booked? Um, yes. One time, I was having sex in the car in a, in my parking typical. lot. Typical, yeah. yeah, typical, right? <laughs> in in a car and uh, in the parking lot where I used to live, and the police actually knocked on the glass with their thing. I didn't get in trouble though because yeah. I wasn't fully undressed. So he didn't really know what we were doing. He thought we were just making out. Yeah. But yeah, we were. It was fogged up. Oh yeah. In that car. Yeah. So yeah, I have. Uh, but I've never really been caught like fully caught, like to say the least. I got fully caught. Like, pants down, everything. What? By who? Popo. Yeah, Popo is on the the upper level at Fairview. I thought it was safe up there. There was no cars around. I guess that's what kind of gave it away. But yeah, I guess the, the, the <laughs> cops showed up, came up there. All of a sudden, the light came on, and it, yo, it was like it was foggy as shit too. Like we had the Titanic shit going on, like the little streak, and it just came down, and like all that, and, like. Oh my god! Yeah, and, like the as soon as the light uh, flashed, because I was on top, I'm pretty sure they saw my butt cheeks. <laughs> pretty sure they saw my butt cheeks. So. That's the worst. Yeah, and, then, and because my windows are tinted, like you just they, the light came in through the front window, <laughs> and yeah, you really need like they need to invent the like, front tints that you can. See <laughs> It's funny because most of the p sex in public stuff that I did was when I was uh, way younger. Like being older now, I'm just like, give me yeah. a bed, like give me something comfortable. But when I was younger, I did. I had sex on AC units on top of buildings, empty of buildings apart, empty empty apartment buildings, yeah. stuff like that. Like anywhere that I could, like yeah. I was just trying to get it in. Like it's true. Now we're grown. We have our own places. Like there's you don't no need really all need. that. There's exactly. No need. It's, it's when you're younger and like exactly. you're, you're living or in a even just place. in new relationships sometimes yeah. that happens. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, too. like yeah, I haven't. That has not happened in a while. Yeah, yeah it hasn't. I haven't had a little public action in a while. <laughs> but <laughs> would you do? Would you do it again? I don't know. Like yeah. it would have to be. It would have to be something that just like spontaneously happened. But thinking about it right now, probably not. Probably not. Probably yeah. not. I've already wrong. been there. Done I've been that. there, done that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. But I don't knock anybody who wants to be out there smashing and banging. Just don't let me see just it. Just let me catch you. Exactly. Don't let my child see it. Okay. <laughs> don't get caught by the police. And don't get caught by the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think that concludes this episode. Make sure that you guys. Oh, as do what I always say like subscribe share comment everything this video also check out my personal channel link in the description below um, I always link my guests uh, information in the video somewhere if you saw it make sure that you check out his information as well and comment below if you want me to bring this guy back on the uh, show Bye. -bye. <laughs> until next time guys this was chatterbox Toronto what? <laughs> <laughs>